I have used my Uber card for the last few months. I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts. Welcome back to Credit Card Wars Part 9. Today, I will let you guys know if the Uber card is the right card to use. I have been methodically using this card the last few months. Anytime there is a dining expense, I take this card out and I swipe it because I'm trying to get 4% cash back. When I was on my business trip recently, I took this card out. I knew if I use this at any hotel or any type of air fee, I got 3% cash back. In the 2% category, which is any online purchase, and also using my Uber app to get a driver, I did not, again, I did not use this card for 2% cash back on online purchases and when I needed an Uber driver. And I'll go into that in a little bit. Now that I've been using this card methodically, I've hit my $100 bonus by using the card up to 500 bucks within the first three months. Another perk that I haven't used yet is no foreign transaction fees when you use this out of the country. I haven't left the country recently. Finally, the card itself. When you go online, this card allows you to see your FICO score. This is what most lenders use. So that's a plus. When you sign on online to your Uber account, you're gonna be able to see your actual FICO score. That's great to use. The biggest thing that I like about this card is that there is no annual fees. So again, that's a big plus. It's good that you're not paying an annual fee and you're getting cash back. So now that I got most of the details out of the way, I'm gonna talk about real life since I use credit cards all over the place. When you want to redeem your points on your card, you need to redeem these points in $25 increments or 2,500 points and up. You can either transfer the points to gift cards that Uber is partnered with or you can transfer it as straight cash. On the subject of straight cash, points, rewards, I find that transferring your points to get cash is not the best use of points. The reason why is we build points, accumulate points, so we can maximize those points to travel, to fly. So that's kind of a situation that I've been encountering recently. I've been building up my points on my Uber card. I've been methodically swiping every time I go eat. When I see these points racking up on my account, it's hard for me to, to think about taking the points and transferring them to a gift card because what I normally do with my other points for example, with Chase, what I do with my Chase reserve card is I will already have points. For example, 100,000 points. I know that if I go to Chase's Ultimate Rewards platform, I can actually get a 50% boost on those points. What am I saying is that those points that were $1,000 to begin with, could possibly be worth $1,500, an extra $500 when I need to book or travel. The problem with my Uber card is when I look at these points that are accumulating, I know that it's just point for point. So for me, someone who's trying to always maximize points, I don't know how much longer I can keep swiping this Uber card because again, even though I'm getting 4% back on dining and 3% back on hotel and airfare, it, I just cringe when I just see the points and I know that I'm not maximizing the points compared to my Chase credit card points. On the topic of 
3%, 2%. I find it odd that Uber decided to only give 2% back when I need a flag in Uber driver. They're only giving me 2% back. If I was Uber, when it comes to using your Uber app, I would put that in the 4%, but they do not. They do, on the other hand, give you 4% back when, you're, when you flag Uber Eats. But again, that's a negative that I see with this card. I currently have my Uber and my Uber Eats attached to my reserve card because I know I get 3% back on those transactions. This is just a small little pet peeve. When I normally get credit cards from other competitors like American Express or Chase, I will tell the person on the phone that I want it to be shipped overnight, two or three business days. They normally will ship me my card for free rush delivery where I'll get it in two to three business days. When I asked Uber, to rush me my card, they said, no problem, Vu, we will charge you $25. I told them, don't charge me $25 and put it in the mail. So I got this card two, three weeks later. So that's a negative. So those are just my true thoughts by using this credit card daily. It might sound to you that I am not happy with my credit card. I'm slightly happy because there's no annual fee. I'm slightly happy that they do have excellent 4%, 3%, 2% cash back. This might be a very, very good card for someone who wants to apply, get the card and build their credit history. But to me, someone who operates around points every single day, on a grade of A to F, I'm gonna give the Uber card a C plus today because of the reasons I mentioned. But I'm gonna give this card one more month to shape up. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until then, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for Credit Card Wars Part 10.